What's up everybody, T. Smola here, and this week I have something a little bit different. Um, you can probably hear in the background what we're going to be doing today. Um, I'm going to go geocaching, but I'm going to do it in a way I've never done it before. So this is a 2021 Polaris Sportsman 450 HO EPS, that's electronic power steering, and uh, it was loaned to me by Polaris for a test ride, and I brought it up here to St. Helen, Michigan today and we're gonna take it out on the trails and we're gonna go get some caches that can only be reached via uh, ATV. So it should be a lot of fun. So there's a whole um, series of geocaches down this trail. I don't know if I'm going to do all of them. Um, it's it's a power trail up and down this, but it's so rough and it's hard to use this uh, when you're riding. But uh, we'll try to find a few at least. All right, this is a sneaky little one. I walked right by it a few times. It's uh, right there. So I'm probably just gonna GoPro film everything else that I do on this trail, uh, just cause it's a pain to get this camera out uh, every single time I wanna film the cache. So if you can't tell, I'm actually sweating quite a bit. Um, I thought doing a power trail would be easier on a ATV because you just hop on and off. It turns out it's a lot harder, especially with the uh, safety vest on and uh, the helmet on. You don't want to take the helmet off every single time you get off to uh, find the cache. So that was a workout for like 10, 15 caches, um, but it was a lot of fun. So now I'm just taking a quick break before I go out to uh, Ride some more and uh, find some more. Uh, this has been a lot of fun.
So I just got to a spot called the St. Helena Sand Dunes. And as you can hear, there's a lot of ATVs here and they're having a lot of fun. So you can probably hear the people tearing around the sand pit back there. Um, there are like three geocaches here. And the only way you're gonna reach them is with a four wheel drive because uh, it is a rough haul to get back here. So I just found the first one back here and it's uh, just a little bison tube, which is okay because the adventure back here was uh, a lot of fun. I'm not sure if this will show up, but check this out. This is why they call it the mixing bowl. This one over here, this one over here is even crazier. I don't think I'm gonna try that. That's uh, a little bit too spinny for my taste. Okay, about to look for my next cache here. Um, this one's called the mixing bowl. Um, and I think from what you saw back there, pretty obvious where that name comes from. So I already see it. There we go. So this cache is called Rock and Roll, hopefully not on your head because there's rock crawling over there. But I've already seen the cache, it's right here. That's a decent sized one too. Alright, I am totally exhausted. Um, it, it was more draining doing this than I thought it was. Um, the last cache there was just uh, the one here at the trailhead where I parked. So these two weekends are actually going to be really exhausting uh, because I had to come up here and do my testing for work for that 
the four-wheeler this weekend and the next weekend I have a press trip to a place I've never been before but I'm gonna try to make a geocaching video out of it um, it cannot be more the opposite of what this adventure was so uh, keep an eye out for that video too um, with that said I got nothing else for you thanks for watching I'll see you next time Thank <laughs> you.